Hello, I'm Trevor Jenkins, and this is Sierra High News, Halloween edition. Let's go see what some popular costumes are for boys. Hello, I'm Zach. Hey, I'm Bailey. And this is the top five costumes for men this year. Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Up first, we have Deadpool. Look at that sexy man right there. Look at that. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Another costume this year is Creepy Clowns. Right. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of jokes, the next costume is the Joker. It's a great one. Doubt anybody will dress up as him this year. Suicide Squad. Not, not popular at all. <laughs> Up next, we have Jack from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Iconic. Yeah. Why is that popular? Yeah. No one's always popular. For some odd reason. <laughs> and last but not least, the pillar of costumes this year. The most perfect one you could ever be for a guy. Oh, well, girls could do it too. Whatever. Harambe! It is the best. You can't, you can't argue with that at all. I miss you, Harambe! Okay, so this was the top five costumes for guys this year. Join us next week with the top five costumes for girls. Grit. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty spicy. Let's go see how our students are doing at the Fresno Fair. Another year has gone by, and the big times are back at the Fresno Fair. Students from Sierra High School show what they have in forms of art and agriculture. Let's go see how some of our ag students feel about the fair. It also gives you the opportunity to get more experience, not only in livestock, it can also teach you hard work, respect for your advisors and for your animal. It can give you all around different life experiences that you can put towards your job or your family life, whatever you want to do. I feel like livestock really gives you an all around experience. It has been another successful year at the fair, and let's hope for many more successful years to come. Now our next stop. Wait. I'm getting news from our field cameraman, Justin Davis. You're live, Justin. Okay, so I'm at Sierra High today, and I heard reports of blood stabber being around here. So, uh, I've been assigned to hunt him down. I haven't seen anything yet, but there might be evidence that he's here today. I found the blood stabber's favorite food, so... Oh, please, right here. Looks like maybe a track. Oh, what? Oh! He saw me! He saw me! Okay, well, I, I escaped them, but I think I found proof of a victim. Oh, God, no! <laughs> I think I followed him back to his hideout. I, I don't think he sees me this time, but I'm hurt. I'm hurt pretty bad. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay, I think I can get him this time. Wait, what? Where'd he go? Let's all hope Justin can make it back to the station. Now that's all for this week. I'll see you next week here at Sierra High News.